Hi everyone, April is Nido's Arts in Action Month and there's heaps of opportunities for you to get involved in. First, we have Lunchtime Concert Series, which involve both Nido and local professional bands playing to you while you eat your lunch. Come see your IB Collaborative Project Thursday, April 6th at Flex. <laughs> Starting at 7 p.m. on the first Friday of April, we have our legendary Nido Palooza! This is a chance for students to perform songs of their choice in a wide range of styles. For example, there will be a rock room, a jazz terrace, an acoustic lounge, a classical chill-out room, as well as interactive arts and drama! This month is also an opportunity for you to express your learning through an artistic medium. You may wish to respond to a language arts text by painting a picture or creating a piece of music inspired by what you're doing in math. Speak to your teachers to suggest ways in which you can deepen your learning by approaching it from a more creative angle. At the beginning of April, we're going to be displaying the artwork of all high school students at the Theatre of Foyer. Our main theme is going to be, Welcome to the Jungle! We're going to bring in a professional clown. He's going to work with all grade levels, and the best students are going to perform at the closing ceremonies. During the second week of April, the IB Music Class will be presenting a music recital as part of our performance portfolio. The third week of April, the Strings, Choir and IB students will be presenting a concert featuring music from Bruckner to Whitney Houston. So Eduardo, can you tell me a little bit more about the Outdoor Art Exhibition? Yes, the annual Outdoor Art Exhibition is taking no risks with the weather this year and is moving to the covered terrace in the middle school. Keep an eye out for some fresh and creative output from our students. Be sure to not miss it. The Arts Showdown returns on Thursday, 27th of April and gives you the chance to either donate or acquire a piece of art. The Fun Field event features work produced by members of the Nido community, both professional and amateur. We finished the month with three closing ceremonies at Nido's Theatre. One for the parents. One for the elementary school. One for the middle and high school. So that's a lot to take in, and we don't expect you to remember any of it. However, I hope it gives you an idea of what's coming up. To find out more, find a Nido Arts in Action poster, scan the QR code, and feast your eyes on everything that's coming up. We hope to see you there supporting the arts at Nido.